Here is a boom box that I recently acquired. Now I'm sorry I'm using the camera's crappy audio in this video, but there is a reason for that, which you'll find out later. Anyway, this thing has CD player, radio, and of course tape, which is my favorite part of it. Speaking of which, let's see how the tape sounds. I don't know what that is that came with the thing, I didn't record it. Sounds like some kind of church music or maybe it's a Christmas carol or something, I don't know, they all sound the same to me. But anyway, this is probably going to need a little bit of TLC because that didn't really sound very good. So I'm just going to try that with another tape. Let's just see if we wind the first folder okay. The line seems to be pretty good. Fast forward does not sound as good. Let's see if it plays. Now he sees past the glamour. She sees past the lines. Okay, well that sounds much better than the other tape, so I guess that was just not a very good recording. Anyway, this does have full auto stop. It does not have one of those little tension sensors in it, but... Let's just get this into a record mode, try to get my hands out of the way. You can see it has a permanent magnet arrays, which is never a never a very good sign. That means it could be it could have DC bias. Of course might get a nice surprise. May, may find out that this is AC bias after all, but I'm not holding my hopes up. I'm gonna try doing a voice recording on this. And it seems to be struggling a bit rewinding this tape, so I think there's at least one belt that's going to need replacing. The only trouble with this thing is, there is no microphone input or no line input. It doesn't even have an external, um, an internal microphone on it. But, there is a way I can make a voice recording onto this. So this little FM radio transmitter here, this will be a good test to see if it really does transmit in stereo or if it's just mono. Now I've got the radio tuner tuned into the same frequency that the thing is transmitting on, so I've put the radio on. And of course we get static. Turn the little transmitter on. No more static. Okay, now I have a microphone connected up to my reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder. I'm gonna switch that on to source. Well, you can definitely hear that's working. Okay, let's just try to make that a little bit not so loud. We're definitely getting feedback through the boom box. You might be able to see when I, when I talk the meters are moving. So let's make a little recording on this. Mm -hmm. Turn the volume down to stop that feedback. Okay, recording on the tape, just wait for the leads to get by. Okay, should be ready now. So here is a test test of the Iowa whatever it is boom box does it have a metal, metal number on it yeah CSD E whatever let's test to see if this is recording and whether this is AC or DC bias right let's rewind that and see what came out put it onto tape Turn the volume up. Get by. Okay. Should be ready now, so there is a test. Test of the Iowa whatever it is boom box. Does it have a model number on it? Yeah. CSD E whatever. Let's test to see if this is recording and whether this is AC or DC bias. Well, I think that's conclusive proof that this is AC bias. The permanent magnet raises adding a little bit of noise onto the tape, but nothing we really can do about that. Now, I'm going to test whether this is actually in stereo. You won't really be able to hear it on the video, but let's put this onto radio. Yep, microphone is. Right, okay. 
so I'm now making another recording. I'm going to pan over to the reel to reel while I do this. Now I'm disconnecting the right input, so now we just have left channel sound. We should just be having left channel sound now. Now I'm going to connect those both in again, and we should have right channel sound. So this is testing, testing on the right channel. Testing, testing on the left channel. Okay, that should be it. Shout out goes to Clydeside on this one for using an FM radio transmitter to actually get the sound onto something that doesn't have an external input. I know he did something like this on one of his videos. Well, let's play this back and see how it came out. Although I'm going to play that back on, on one of my other machines so we can play it into the computer. Right, last thing to test is the CD player. Sonic R. Let's play that song that's supposed to have a curse on it. Let's see if it reads the CD. Okay. Yep, seems to be able to go through the tracks. Okay, let's see what we have here. Yep, CD player seems to work. Hmm. No, oh, that's not the track with the vocals on it. Don't want to play the track that's got. Okay, let's skip them a little bit there. Okay, we seem to have a little bit of a problem now. There's absolutely no sound at all. Let me just this switch. And of course I turned the stupid thing off, didn't I? When I tried to jiggle the switch to see if that was the problem. I turned the CD player off. Let's just play a random track. Okay, track number seven. Okay, we don't seem to be getting any sound out of this speaker here. So try to jiggle that switch a bit. To jiggle a few other things. Or I can get a record that. Well, I certainly did get this for free. Anyway, we we'll play that tape back now, and um, well, we'll see how it works. Definitely is going to need some new belts. There does appear to be a little problem with the CD player where I'm not getting any sound out of the left speaker. That's going to have to be sorted out. So, in the near future, there'll be a cool dude claims electronic workshop where I open this up and try to track down the problem. But for now, I'm going to leave you with what this recorded. Get by. Okay, should be ready now. So, here is a test, test of the Iowa, whatever it is, boombox. Does it have a model number on it? Yeah, CSD, E, whatever. Let's test to see if this is recording and whether this is AC or DC bias. So, I'm now making another recording. I'm going to pan over to the reel-to-reel -reel while I do this. Now I'm disconnecting the right input, so now we just have left channel sound. We should just be having left channel sound now. There's both in again. And we should have right channel sound. So this is testing, testing on the right channel. Testing, 
testing on the left channel. Okay, that should be it. Shout out goes to Clydeside on this one for using an FM radio transmitter to actually get the sound onto something that doesn't have an external input. I know he did something like this on one of his videos. Well, let's play this back and see how it came out. Although I'm going to play that back on, on one of my other machines so we can play it into the computer. <laughs> 